Hey everyone, it's Pat from Pat's Urban Music. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. Today we're gonna to learn our beginner, intermediate, and advanced methods of how to play B major. This chord comes up every now and again. Often it's the first bar chord people learn and it can be a little bit tricky, but I'm gonna show you an easy version of how you can learn it in a couple of minutes and then some other harder versions. But by the end of the video, you'll actually be able to play every major chord that there is. So definitely stick around. Let's dive into a tiny bit of theory and then I'm gonna show you and definitely grab your guitars. So the only theory that you need to know is when you're playing a major chord, you're playing the root note, the one, you're playing the third note and you're playing the fifth note. So you can think of it as you've got a B major scale and you've divided the notes up and you put numbers underneath them and you've got the one, the three and the five. So in this example, B major, you've got B, D sharp, F sharp. That's all that is, that's all the theory that you need to know. And to the ear, it sounds like a happy chord. Like a happy sounding chord, right? So dive in, grab your guitars, here we go. Grab your guitars, guys. So you want your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string, that's your B note. Directly underneath it, you want your pinky on the fourth fret of the second string, that's your D sharp. And a little bit of a stretch, you want your first finger on the second fret of the first string, that's your F sharp. And that's it. You just want to play those three notes. But even though we're only using, you know, three strings and three notes, it's B major because of where our fingers are placed, specifically where your third finger is placed, because that's a B note. But if you move it up one fret, then you've got C major. Move it up two frets, you've got D major. So you've now learned every major chord that there is with the beginning method. Well done. Let's check out the more intermediate method. This will require you barring your finger, but it just builds a little bit of strength over time. Don't get discouraged, you can do it. Here we go. So with your first finger, you wanna come in on the second fret of the fifth string, because that's your B note again. A big stretch here, you want your second finger on the fourth fret there of the fourth string. That's your F sharp. So we've got a power chord already happening. Then you want your, again, stretched on the fourth fret of the third string. You want your third finger, that's holding down another B note. And then you want your pinky on the fourth fret of the second string, that's your D sharp. And finally, with that first finger, you want to also be holding down the second fret on the first string. Now to begin with, if that's too tricky, just try not to bar with your first finger and just play those inside four strings. Still sounds lovely, but just remember you can't play the thick E and you can't play the low E string. You can't play the, well, you can't play the thin E string and you can't play the thick E string. And again, guys, what's great about that intermediate shape is it's B major because we're on the second fret of the fifth string, the B note. If you move it up one fret, you've got C major. Up two more frets, you've got D major. Again, you've learned every single major chord. Pressing on to the hardest version of all, here we go, good luck. Come in with your first finger all the way up there on the seventh fret of the sixth string. Then you wanna make a power chord with your third finger. So that's there on the F sharp. Then you want your pinky underneath that, that's another B note. So we've got first note, fifth degree, and then your octave. Then you want your second finger there on the third string of the eighth fret. That's giving it that major happy sound. And finally, you want your first finger also holding down there on the seventh fret of the second string and the seventh fret of the first strings. That's giving you an F sharp and it's also giving you a B note. That's my favorite version of all. Sounds nice and full, rich, definitely happy. And again, move it back two frets, you've got A. Back another two frets, you've got G. Move it all the way up to the eighth fret, you've got C. Movable shapes are amazing, guys. Well done. You can now play every single major chord that there is. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you do want to check out hundreds, literally hundreds of other videos, you don't have to subscribe to anything. You can just check them out on my website. Head over to patdavidmusic.com. Otherwise, I'll see you all again.